Uh, good evening. Pat Fortune is town moderator. I would like to call the special town meeting of November 28, 2023 to order at 7.30 p.m. and ask the town clerk for the reading of the warrant. Pursuant to the Wizard Warrant, I have notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Waitley by posting attested copies of the same at the town office building, Waitley Post Office, Waitley Transfer Station, and S. White Dickinson Library in said town 14 days at least before the date of the meeting as within directed. Signed, Constable Thomas Mahart, 11 6 right, Thank you. All right, all of you here, you were notified, warned, you still showed up. Thank you very much. For being part of our democratic process. We'd like to move to Article 1, please. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $5,800 from fiscal year 23 free cash to pay unpaid bills of a prior fiscal year from Creative Companies Incorporated, Cooley Dickinson Medical Group, W.B. Mason Company Incorporated, and Amazon Capital Services. All right, and nine. Second. A motion has been made and a second has been made as well. This requires a nine-tenths vote. Is there any discussion regarding Article 1? A correction that it's collective copies not created. Yeah. Okay. If not, all those in favor, please raise your card. All those opposed? All right, thank you for agreeing to have the town pay its bills. Okay. <laughs> Move on to Article 2. The Article 1 carries by the required 9 tenths vote. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $26,000 from the town building's stabilization account to pay for a feasibility study and master plan for a new highway department facility. Second. Article 2 has been moved and seconded, and it requires a two-thirds vote. Are there any questions or discussion regarding this? Judy Markland, um, to me, a uh, feasibility study is typically related to the feasibility of a structure or a site. Is that what's contemplated here? Um, so the question is, what's the nature of the feasibility study? It is to determine an appropriate site for such a building and then what might be built. Yeah. What can be put? Yeah. Are there parameters? It, it seems quite open here. It, well, it is because we don't have it's a specific site in mind. Okay, fine. Um, we're looking, I would think we're going to have the study look at town owned properties, existing town owned properties to see what might be used for that purpose. But, Is it priority or will that be exclusive? I mean, is that exclusive or? That, that will be among the things that will be in the, the final studies. You know, we will hopefully be able to work with the contractor do, doing the study, figure out what our needs are, how big that building would have to be, what kind of indoor, outdoor, uh, so, you know, how, how much acreage it would need of indoor and outdoor. And whether we have you know, and what we have that would work for that. Now, as of now, we, we just have questions about. So it's a need study. Yeah, it, it's primarily it's a need study, but it's also, as it says, you know, feasibility. You know, looking at just as an example, the Mayo property is that a feasible site for a highway department? Well, that's a little bit of my concern because yeah. if you constrain it. Property, well, well that, I, 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 I think I think the anticipation for now is to constrain it to town-owned properties. We have the the current, for lack of a better word, campus of where the highway department, police, fire departments are. Is there land there that would be suitable? I guess my concern is that in the grand scheme of things, relative. What is expected the price of the building? The price of the land might be pretty small. I'm concerned if it's constrained to town owned property. I think if we don't constrain it to town owned property, then it just becomes a fixed fishing expedition. We 
for land that isn't even on the market. If, the if I could bring yeah. this back to the article under discussion, yeah. uh, I think what we've heard is a concern that we not constrain it simply yeah. on properties. I think we've heard uh, an expression, a sentiment of why town-owned properties would be seen to be preferable, but that there's nothing in the article that we can clarify that actually does constrain the study to only look at town-owned properties. Uh, with that in mind, is that addressing your concerns? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? I know that they're very yeah, Neil, if you could adapt. Uh, Neil Abram, uh, Chestnut Plain Road, in Town Center. I know that there are various other building needs under various degrees of discussion. Is the reason why only the Highway Department feasibility study is here, rather than others, such as explore whether there are various places, locations for both highway and police, or whatever it might be? Why, if we're going to study options, why study only places where the highway department could fit, which might be places where only the highway department could fit. The, the discussion we've had starts with the highway department because the building is in bad shape, is inadequate for needs. There may be a domino effect that it begins to impact other buildings, but the starting point is to locate is to deal with the highway department garage, which will likely be the most expensive, more expensive say than a fire, a police department, uh, and will require more lead you know, planning, lead time, etc. So the the impetus for the study is highway department garage, but yes, it may lead uh, expand to looking at, okay, that if, for instance, it requires moving a police department or building, it, the whole thing could expand in that way. But for now, the initial thought is, let's see where we can put what we need in a highway garage and where might we be able to put it. That's where the need is. Though. Right, that, that, that's the, the most pressing need, and even at that, it is unlikely that such a building will come to fruition for quite a few years. So this is just getting the process moving uh, so that we know that what we need and where it might go. Thank you. Are there other questions in discussion? Well, can I just clarify? If you could first identify yourself. Please. Yeah, I'm Jenny Morrison. I live on Chestnut Plain Road. Um, so is it could it be part of the study to look at, if we're looking at town property and possibly other places, to ask the questions of all the things that they might be useful for to the town and not just the... Again, the, the highway department is the, uh, is what is causing I, I this to, to go. Where it leads in a study, we don't know at this point. With what it's going to tell us that you know, might you know, say it's, a study says the best place for it is in the area between the current highway department and the fire department. That may have an impact on the fire department. We don't even, even we don't know yet whether. So again, we're we're looking to see what we can do about the highway department and get them out of their inadequate facility. And this is really the first step in that process of what is going, would in any case, be a long process. Because as of now, we don't know where the, what building we need and where it's gonna go. And all we do know is we need a building. Right. Any other additional questions, discussion? Please. Uh, Chief Arnold on the Highway Superintendent. I'll just clarify a few things in the aspect that when you compare the highway department to other buildings that have all been talked about, all the other buildings that we've talked about structurally are sound. The police department's building is in very good shape. 
fire station is sound there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying it may not be tight in space constraints, but as far as the highway department goes, um, the biggest problem that was the town of Waitley did at that time it was built, it was built with cinder blocks from the footings up. And so at the ground level, the cinder blocks, which are like these blocks that we're looking at around us here, they're hollow. They're very inexpensive to build, and when salt hits cinder blocks, it, they turn to mush. And the building continues to sink and settle and crack, and windows pop and break because the building cracks and settles. We've looked at many years ago trying to, we had an engineering firm come in and look at the building to try to suggest ways of shoring it up and doing things of that nature. All of them were more costly, they were just cost prohibitive to do anything like that. So the building was built in 1960 um, and it, it's in rough shape. Um, and at this point in time, part of what we need to do is also, is we can say we have this many vehicles that need to be parked inside and things like that, or what we don't know is you have to apply the building codes, current building codes to your requirements, and then a lot of that stipulates how many square feet are needed for this and that. And so, Part of what we need to do is just come up with how many square feet is necessary and once we have that square footage then we can start to piece it together and say okay this piece of property cannot fit that square footage on or this piece of property can so that's really what this is all about is trying to get some answers preliminary answers so that we can take the next step and if I can, just one other thing. On the Capital Improvement Committee, a year or two ago, we went to see what equipment the highway department needed, and Pete was telling us, there's certain pieces of equipment they simply can't buy now because they're too tall for, for our garage. And they may be the appropriate piece of equipment, but we can't park it outside and we can't get it inside. So we would need a building that would house what would be the equipment that we actually need, not the equipment we can currently handle. There, 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 there are all kinds of reasons that we need a new building, and that's what's driving this process, is the need for this particular building. I haven't heard any objection to that. Are there, is anyone who has an additional question or a follow-up, some clarification they need at this point? Seeing none, I'd like us to then move to a vote, please. Again, this requires a two-thirds vote. Uh, all those in favor, please raise your, raise your card. All those opposed, it's passed two-thirds requirements. <laughs> Article 2 is passed. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer a sum of $102,313 from the Water Department Enterprise Fund fiscal year 23 retained earnings to pay the amount remaining on the loan for the construction of the pumping station installed on Chestnut Plain Road. Second. This has been moved and seconded. It requires a majority vote. Uh, do we have questions, or comments, discussion? Everyone's already pumped up for this vote? Okay. I waited to the third article. <laughs> uh, in that case, all those in favor, please raise your hand and card. All those opposed, the motion is carried by the majority vote required. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $9,618.40 from fiscal year 23 free cash to pay weatherization improvements at the Wakeley Elementary School to be reimbursed in full by a utility incentive payment. Second. Are there questions about Article 4, which has been moved and second is now up for discussion? If not, all those in favor, please raise your card. 
All those opposed? Article 4 has carried by the majority vote required. Article 5, please. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $4,500 from fiscal year 23 free cash to pay for a survey and for preparations of plans for the property located at 218 Chestnut Plain Road, Assessor's Parcel ID 39-0-17. Second. Article 5 is moved and second. Requires a majority vote. It's now up for discussion. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we will proceed to a vote. All those in favor, please raise your card. All those opposed? Thank you. Article 5 is passed by the majority vote required. Move to Article 6, please. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer to the select board for the purpose of sale or other disposition, the care, custody, and control of the property located at 218 Chestnut Plain Road, Assessor's Parcel ID 39-0-17, and to authorize the select board to dispose of such property on such terms as the select board in its discretion determined to be in the best interest of the town and before anybody asks that's the old center school property all right article six second has been moved and seconded and it requires two-thirds vote and it's been clarified that we're talking about the old center school property are there questions, discussion? Neil, please. Neil Abram, Chestnut Plain Road. I would think it would be much more controversial for some of us if other disposition included the demolition of the building. And so I wonder what things other than demolition are encompassed by other disposition in the language of this one. Is there anyone who can address this question? I'm looking at Brian. Um, so the the reason for the article is that is that state law requires a town meeting vote for the town to dispose of property. Um, in this case, I think the intent the intent of the select board is to sell the property. Um, so what would other disposition be? Um, I think it could also be any other interest in the real property. So if that's, um, if they were to grant maybe some type of easement in the property, would probably fall under other disposition. So it would be any other type of, of property, uh, of interest in the real property. Um, so things such as an easement, um, I'm trying to think of other things that might fall under that as well. Um, those, that's the one that comes But up. as worded, this would include demolition. Demolition wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't require, uh, demolition is not an interest in real property, so I'm not sure what, I guess I don't understand how demolition would be involved here. It seems to me this authorizes the select board, if it so chooses in the best interest of the town, to authorize demolition of the building. It, the, uh, this doesn't deal with the building. This is only to do with the, the real estate, the land. This only authorizes uh, action regarding the land itself. Well, if you want to sell the, the center school, I understand that you would have to sell the land. <coughs> But wouldn't you also have to have authorization to sell the school? Do we not already have that? No. Or no, 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 not, not just to hands to deal with the disposition of the building. Does, is, does the select board currently have that authority or not? What would you mean by disposition of the building? <laughs> Demolition. If we, if we decided without passing this, could the select board, I mean, does the select board now have the power to do that even before this? Could the select board? Don't quote me on this without <laughs> checking with town council, but I would say likely yes. 
that this this would not impact the ability of the yeah. board to authorize the demolition, which we've shown no intention of doing. Uh, may I point out any such action would require an appropriation of funds? Um, which would have to be approved by this body. There's no such article on the warrant. Um, and I would object strongly if were it to happen in the absence of such an appropriation. Are there other questions? Is this simply the land when it says property? I've always understood that the property is the land and, and buildings sitting upon it. When I buy a piece of, when I buy a yes, house, you, 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 it's considered a property. Yes, but then after you buy the property, that property you have the right to knock the house down. It's not integral. But it is integral in the word property. I'm just asking because you, you the, seem the, to the, declare the, the, it. What is property? property you want to talk? All right. That's so the question is, does value the town needs to vote to disperse anything with the price value? Yeah. yeah. All right. All, all, all in. I'm saying is that, as far as I can tell, this does not grant the town, the select board, any additional powers or fewer powers than it has already, except, except to sell the land. And the building. And the, and the building. building. And, and, and the building on it. And our RFP does have pretty strong stipulations about, you know, maintaining the building and not demolishing it. We, we don't intend to take it down. So the preservation restriction that I think you're referring to would apply, or does the select board under this article then have authority to This not does not grant any authority with regard to historical preservation restrictions. It, yeah. Does okay. not grant us the authority to go against the historical right. preservation restrictions. So then what other than sale Perhaps donation, perhaps a, a different way of perhaps trans leasing might transferring, fall under this. yeah, le less leasing or ownership of the property <coughs> to okay. to an organization that would stay within the stipulations of the RFP and the historic Pre preservation, which have been pretty exhaustively detailed. Does that make sense? Don, Don Chestnut Plain Road, um, and I'm sorry to jump into this, Please. but I am now, I was not confused when I read the article, and I am now confused by the explanations that we've received. Yes. If that is the case, that this would cover leasing, did, did we vote such an article before 12 months ago we issued a request for lease? Oh, I should not have spoken. No, you should not have spoken. You should just erase that because you <laughs> added The knowledge. jury will disregard my comments. <laughs> and and I, I would also like to just point out, so we can put this to bed perhaps, that Brian's explanation begins with the words, this article would authorize the select board to sell the center school building and property, which is yeah. what, what, Fred, I, I, is, I, which is what Fred has been saying, but it took us a while to get there. Yeah. No, it's not good to keep my mouth shut and just listen to Brian. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yes, he's please. the only one that's both that wasn't. Um, I'm Jenny Morris, <laughs> and, and I, I know that people are anxious to do something with the center school. Um, but once it's sold, we never get it back. And I, I chaired the committee that did the survey on this we talked about options for how to use it yes we didn't get answers you know we didn't get a taper on the option we wanted but I personally don't want to see the town sell it at this point and, I, and, and I feel like my opinion was supported very strongly in the town survey is there anyone else who wishes to speak to Article 6? Yes, please. Just to uh, identify East Barbara, Westbrook Road. Um, just to another comment about that is, do we know, does anybody here remember what we're paying 
for it to remain? How much is it cost? Approximately $10,000 a year right. for insurance and keeping the heat on at a minimum, plus uh, your time and energy to go in there and check and make sure it's not flooding. And that price is just going to keep going. That's going to go up and up and up. That's and the building will still decay that. even under under that. It, we are not taking proper care of it yeah. under yeah. those conditions. But it's, it's worse and worse. The it's going to get worse and worse. Inside. And we paid more insurance on it as an abandoned building than we would if it was a building yes. that was in use. Um, yeah. All right. Is there anyone who has not had an opportunity to contribute to the discussion or any question or concern? Are there any remaining questions or concerns before we proceed to a vote? All right, I remind you that a two-thirds vote is required. All those in favor, raise your car and please leave them up so I can count. Okay, uh, all those opposed? All right, the measure has uh, passed by the required two-thirds vote. Uh, Article six has carried. I move that the town vote to amend the general bylaws of the town by amending chapter 43, Recreation Commission, by deleting the lined out word and replacing the word with in underlined italics bold. The replaced word, the paragraph in which the replacement is occurring is there is hereby established a Recreation Commission in the town of Whiteley consist of nine, which is crossed out, and replaced with seven members to be appointed by the Board of Selectmen to serve as an advisory committee on all matters involving recreation and related activities. Second. All right. Um, Article 7 is moved and seconded, and we can now proceed to a relaxed discussion of the Recreation Commission uh, and its and the number of members to be of, that it should consist of. Is there anyone who has a question, concern, discussion regarding Article 7? Neil, please. I, I notice in the wordings that in previous articles we've referred to the select board, and I gather our bylaws continue to use the archaic term select men, and I wonder if a, this could be changed, I suppose not, because the bylaws define the selection, but I wonder if we could ask the appropriate party to bring us a full set of resolutions to change all references in the bylaws from select men to select board. Yes, please. Um, so the bylaws that we have for the recodification of our bylaws has been submitted. I'm hoping to get it to annual town meeting, but that is part of it. Um, that will be coming yep. to us. Thank you, Andy. All right, so uh, we'll put on the record that the sentiment has been expressed that we update our language to refer always to the board of select, the, the select board in our language of our bylaws. And uh, a clarification has been made that in fact, such a process is underway, uh, awaiting approval by the appropriate bodies, yes. Okay, in hopes of being able to bring that forward to our annual town meeting. Thank you very much. Are there any other additional questions or concerns regarding this uh, article? All right, if not, please uh, proceed to a vote. All those in favor, raise your card. It's for the Recreation Committee. Please extend fully. Oh, what, excellent. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> As it were, all right, all those opposed? All right, the article passes uh, in an exercise fashion and we can proceed to a motion to adjourn this meeting. Mr. Moderator, I move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please raise your card as daintily as you wish. Thank you, article carries. Uh, we are now in adjournment.